Hey guys, um, I know I haven't made a tutorial in a really long time and I'm sorry about that. I've been so busy and I just wanted to put this tutorial out before my birthday tomorrow, November 30th. Um, I just wanted to put it out there really fast. So today I'm going to show you how to get Windows 7 Dream Scene for 32-bit and 64-bit both. The OEM version, the retail version, the release candidate. As you can see, look, it's a little laggy, I'm sorry. But yeah, see, there's no little evaluation thing. So it works 100%. There's only one consequence. That's all I'm telling you. There's one consequence doing this. If you have desktop icons, desktop icons like over here, like my recycling bin and the text file, you're not going to like this. What happens when you install Windows 7 Dream Scene onto your computer? what happens well let's zoom in as you can tell my recycling bin text you cannot see very good that's what happens your text goes transparent but when you put in a normal desktop when you put in a normal wallpaper it just comes back so that's only one bad thing that happens to it but it's nothing big as you can tell that one I just had right now was a Call of Duty 4 Buck, it's one of the stages, but there's another one from Call of Duty 4, which is, I think, Crossfire. So, yeah, let's get on with this. So, the links are in the description and pull the links up. Um, this one's for 32 bit, the 32 bit's way easier to use than the 64 bit. So, copy paste, it's already there. You could just download it right away. So just double click on the EXE. It's easier for a 32 bit. Just double click on the EXE and restart your computer. Once you double click on the EXE, just run the setup and you're okay. So yeah, let's just use the 64 bit. I had to do the steps for the 64 bit. So these are both direct downloads. Accelerate Fox download. Done. Okay, so it's open. Let's just extract to the desktop. So it's right here, double click on it. These are three things you have. So let's go to, wait, no, not control panel, sorry. Computer, to your main hard disk, Windows, and scroll down to System32. Once you're in the System32, get the dream scene.dll and drag it in here. Just drag it in there like nothing. Just around here and then it will be there next what you want to do is in the system 32 you gotta look for the E um, E N U S I believe it's called uh, yeah E N U S uh, zoom in so double click on that and get the dream scene that DLL dot M U I drag that one into the system 32 and us ENUS I'm sorry <laughs> spaced out for a bit so then once you do those just exit that out you have this main file just there's something right here it's called DS or DC double click on it. it's a registry file so it'll be okay this is right here adding information can unintentionally change or delete values you don't really care so are you sure you want to continue? Hit yes. And then it's gonna another one's gonna say, okay, it's done. Just hit okay and restart your computer or log off. Whichever is good for you. Then what you can do is you can grab um videos files. Well uh, let's go to one. Uh, just go to dream scene dot org. This is where you can get a bunch of dream scenes, any kind of dream scene and just about every dream scene you could ever imagine. Um, yeah, you can get dream scenes from there or any other website if you can find it. So, what happens? How do you install them? You can't just go to personalize or whatever you do and then go to desktop background. No, it doesn't work like that. I'm sorry to say. See, it just went away. It doesn't work like that. What you need to do is. Uh, the dream scene just stopped. Yeah, I did. So I'm just gonna go back to the dream scene. 
what happened was it went away really fast. So when you install the dream scene, this is what you could do. Just right click on the dream scene video. It has to be WMV, not the dream that dream. So when you right click, it says right here now, there's a new setting. It says set as desktop background. Hit that. And it should work. Surprisingly, these came back for me. I don't know what just happened, but they came the words came back. That's really good for me, I guess. So yeah, that's how you install Dream Scenes on Windows 7. In my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get it for Windows XP. So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.